ethics was a, a disappointment. Uh, I think it was a real disappointment. I mean, I would say for conservatives looking back on this session, I would say the fact that the lack of a stricter spending limit, which was Senate Bill 9 from Kelly Hancock, the, the, the fact that that didn't become law, and then I think kind of more comprehensive reform. And I'm, I'm with Harold. There's one part of this ethics reform package that, that didn't make it, and then they found a way to take some power away from the PIU, which I think most conservatives would be fine with given kind of Rosemary Lumberg's activities, but then to say that if no matter where in the state, if you kind of rob a bank in South Texas, you get prosecuted in your hometown with your kind of, you know, in front of a hometown jury, Texans would think that that's an improvement in the process. I don't think it's an improvement in the process. But overall, there's a lot of ethics reform that was, I think both houses could agree on. They couldn't agree on the so-called dark money provision. That's why it failed. I think that that's something that, you know, kind of leadership, if they put a little more pressure on, maybe that gets done. Okay.